heterotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition it means when the organism depend on others for its food okay when it does not prepare it is not able to prepare its food it, is, it has, does not have the capacity to prepare its food then it, it depends on others for its food directly or indirectly then that mode of nutrition is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition it takes place in all the animals okay including human beings heterotrophic mode of nutrition when we talk about it it is of three types saprophytic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition holozoic mode of nutrition what is saprophytic mode of nutrition saprophytic mode of nutrition means when the organisms they depend on dead and decaying matter for their food then that is called as the saprophytic mode of nutrition okay and the organisms which show this mode of nutrition they are called as saprophytes second is the parasitic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition means when the organism when the organism lives inside lives lives inside the living organism's body means body of living organism so in the body of living organism that body will be called as the living organism's body host h o s t so when the organism it feeds on or resides inside the body of living organism its host and gets the feed from that body that are called as the paras that is called as the parasitic mode of nutrition and the organisms which uh, show parasitic mode of nutrition they are called as parasites now students parasites uh, example i can give you of intestinal worms there are some worm, worms which uh, uh, goes into our intestine they are formed in the intestine so they are parasites okay then third one is the holozoic mode of nutrition holozoic mode of nutrition is a mode of heterotrophic nutrition in holozoic mode of nutrition the food the complex food is broken down into simpler form and then absorbed by the body so that is the holozoic mode of nutrition if you talk about unicellular organisms then we can give the example of amoeba it shows holozoic mode of nutrition and when we talk about multicellular organisms we people human beings they are show the holozoic mode of nutrition now in the, we have just completed saprophytic parasitic and holozoic mode of nutrition the types of heterotrophic mode of nutrition now when we talk about uh, um, when we will proceed further we will learn about human digestive system which is in your syllabus that is digestion in human beings okay human digestive system here is the diagram of human digestive system and it is also known as elementary canal okay if you are given the question uh, draw and diagram of human elementary canal that is the same that this diagram you have to draw and if you are given human digestive system then also it's the same okay now when we talk about the nutrition in human beings now why do we take nutrition why do we take food when we talk about nutrition we talk about food that we need food food we need food why do we need food we need food to get the energy okay we get the energy from where we are getting the energy from the food no the nutrients which are present in the food they gives us the energy now how many nutrients are there there are mainly five nutrients that is carbohydrates uh, proteins uh, proteins fats vitamins and minerals when we talk about the energy then out of these five nutrients only carbohydrates fats and proteins they gives us the energy then what about vitamins and minerals do we not need uh, vitamins and minerals no our body requires vitamins and minerals now uh, uh, i can give you the current uh, example live example of the uh, this vitamin uh, c that today as uh, you people are watching in the tv news as well as in your whatsapp messages and all facebook everywhere it is coming that you just people eat 
you people eat uh, the food which is rich in uh, vitamin C. Do you know why this message is coming? That because this vitamin C, the food which is rich in the fruits, which are rich in vitamin C, they will boost your immunity and they will help to fight you against the coronavirus if it has affected. Okay, so vitamins and minerals, they help us to boost our immunity, uh, to improve our immunity, to boost our immune system and to protect us from diseases and fight infections. Okay, now coming to human digestive system. First part is the, as you are seeing, it is the mouth which is also known as buccal cavity. Mouth or buccal cavity. Now if we talk about mouth, you can see the teeth are there in the mouth. Now first of all, we will talk about teeth then. The teeth, they help in the mastication of food. What happens that the teeth which are present in the human beings, they have three main features. First is that they are diphodont. Diphodont means in our life we have two uh, 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 kinds of teeth. First is the temporary teeth when we people... Uh, take the birth and after uh, six to eight months the teeth start coming uh, in a child and that teeth they are called as a milk teeth or they are called as the temporary teeth okay after six to seven years of age these temporary teeth they fall off and we get the main permanent teeth you people have main permanent teeth i am having permanent teeth okay Next is the second feature is the first is the diaphodont. Second feature of teeth is the that they are heterodont. Heterodont means there are four kinds of teeth in human beings. First one is incisors which helps in biting the food. Second is the canines which help in tearing the food. Third one is the premolars which help in cracking the food. For example, cracking the nuts. Fourth one is the molars which help in grinding the food. Okay, now after that we have, second thing is that we have salivary, th third feature is the, sorry, third feature is the thecodont. First feature diaphodont, second is the heterodont and third one is the thecodont. Thecodont means that these teeth, they are fixed in the sockets which are present in the mouth that are called as jaws. Okay, this is the third one feature, thecodont. The, you people can write down, pan it down. Well, uh, three features are there, diaphodont, temporary and permanent. Second is the heterodont, four types, incisors, canines, premolars, molars. And third one is the diaphodont that they are fixed in the sockets called jaws. Second is the, what is present in the mouth is the salivary gland. This salivary gland, it produces the saliva and this saliva secretes the enzyme called as tylin or salivary amylase. Okay, this is the enzyme which is present in the saliva secreted by the salivary gland. So this salivary amylase, for what happens, the digestion of carbohydrates starts here only. That the, is this salivary amylase or tylin, uh, what is its function? It helps in the breakdown of starch into sugars, carbohydrates into glucose. Okay, this is the main function. You can pen it down. You can make a table in your notebook after this lecture and just write down one side enzyme, other side function which are present in the digestive system because one mark question can be asked from the enzymes as these are new in 10 standard. You are learning first time. Then, Next is the, in the mouth, what happens? The food which we have taken in the solid form that has been softened with the help 